Hi everyone, so this is a very very important video for TCS NQT because in this video we will be covering a very important topic, okay? Now the very important topic is time, speed and distance, okay? First of all, listen me carefully, okay? I already posted one video for data sufficiency which is a very important topic for TCS NQT as well as profit loss, okay? The playlist link you will be getting in the description. Okay, so in that playlist, actually, you will be getting the preparation related videos. And in this video, we will be solving the questions of uh, time, speed and distance. And the most important part, if you will watch this video till the end, each and every topic, each and every concept of time, spe uh, speed and distance will be clear to you. So we want your maximum support. Please make sure to like this video. Okay, maximum like we want on, on this video and let's solve this topic. Okay, the most important part is we will be including some questions. Okay, which we will be also solving, which will be helping you in TCS NQT exam as well. Okay, but most important thing, you can practice the question on, on, uh, on your own. We will be covering all the basic concepts which you should know. And it is a very important video. Don't miss to watch this video till the end also i just want to tell you if you want to prepare for tcs nqt in very less time if you want to uh, prepare for tcs nqt with the mock test if you want to prepare the questions with the timers you can purchase the mock test the link will be in the description the most important part is you can join the tcs nqt whatsapp group so in this whatsapp group you will be getting the clear instructions that what you need to do okay uh, for tcs nqt exam daily test for practice you will be getting okay there are a lot of tests available which you can choose for your daily practice and we are providing daily test for practice also we are uh, conducting the competition between the students okay so this kind of test also you will uh, you will be getting tcs actual previous year questions paper based questions you will be getting so a lot of things are available and previous year question sets uh, uh, of codings is also available and practice set is available for practice day where more than 800 questions are available for practice okay so the a lot of things you will be getting for your practice this is the best way for your preparation you can purchase it the link will be in the description description okay now let's start with our tcs nqt this video which is time speed distance we will start with the basic formula so the first basic formula is distance okay so distance is basically speed multiplied by time okay this is the basic formula if you want to get the distance we will be doing it by speed multiplied by time so speed is equals to distance divided by time and time is equals to distance divided by speed these are the some basic for formula which we should know then comes the unit conversion part. Now, suppose if anything is given in kilometer per hour, you want to change it in minutes per second. Then we need to actually multiply it by 5 by 18. So if you will multiply by 5 by 18, it will convert into minutes per second. Then if one minute per second that means if you want to uh, convert from minutes per second to kilometer per hour you can multiply by 18 by 5. one kilometer will contain 1000 meter and one hour will will, will contain 300 uh, 3600 seconds these some concepts are very important to remember okay so make sure you remember these con uh, concepts okay and this is the basic formula which you should know then talking about average speed okay so if a person travels equal distance at different speeds the distance is equal and uh, if he's uh, tra traveling the uh, equal distance at different speeds then average speed will be 2xy divided by x plus y okay for an example a person is traveling to half distance at 40 km per hour another half distance at 60 km per hour then what is the average speed so the average speed will be 2 multiply by 40 multiply by 60 divided by 40 plus 60 because the distance is equal if you will solve this it is 1400 divided by 100 which is 48 kilometer per hour okay next is equal times now what is equal times if a person travels equal times at dif uh, different speeds okay if a person travels equal times at different speeds so the average speed is x plus y divided by 2 okay so suppose a person in one hour is traveling 40 kilometer and at another one hour he is uh, uh, traveling at 60 kilometer. So it should be x plus y divided by 2. So it should be 50 kilometer per hour average speed. Okay. 
next we will talk about relative speed now this relative speed concept is very important because each and every year tcs asks question from this it is almost confirmed that tcs asks question from this relevant uh, relative uh, speed concept what is relative speed so suppose if two person two trains or two objects are moving into the same direction and maybe the speeds are different for both for so a is traveling in this direction b is also traveling in this direction suppose the speed are different for both okay then the relative speed if they are both traveling into the same direction will be s1 minus s2 mod okay so we will do s1 minus s2 if they are both moving in into the same direction suppose a is moving like this and b is moving like this means opposite direction a is moving like this and b is moving like this then it should be s1 plus s2 okay so this is the relative speed formula okay i hope this is clear and it is very important for train train problems car problems person moving problems so this concept is very important so don't miss to actually get to know about this topic okay next uh there there's example two trains 200 km apart matlab this is the distance of 200 km approach 60 km and 40 km r at which time they will meet okay so basically one train is moving from here at 60 60 km per hour another train is moving from here from 40 km per hour at which time they will meet okay so we have discussed a is moving in this direction b is moving in this direction that means it should be s1 plus s2 means 60 plus 40 so it should be 100 km per hour relative speed okay and total distance is 200 km so it should be 200 divided by 100 which is 2 so 2 is basically time so at 2 hours the both trains will meet each other okay so the answer will be 2 hours okay so according to this same kind of question also you may get so this is how we need to solve the question okay next we will talk about both downstream upstream concepts okay so this is the question so this is the important formulas so the downstream always remember one thing downstream is always plus so whatever the speed of boat plus down uh, plus stream speed we will add okay and if it is upstream we will subtract so boat speed boat speed minus up speed up uh, stream speed we will be doing okay so just remember two things if it is a downstream speed we will be adding the uh, stream speed if it is upstream speed we will be subtracting the stream speed okay and the boat speed will be of course downstream plus upstream divided by 2 and stream speed will be downstream minus upstream divided by 2 okay let's understand with example so suppose downstream speed okay so suppose this is 15 and upstream okay it is 9 km per hour okay so what is the speed of boat so downstream is 15 and upstream is 9 then the boat speed will be 15 plus 9 divided by 2 which is 12 km per hour okay and what will be the stream speed the stream speed will be down minus up which is 15 minus 9 divided by 2 6 by 2 which is 3 km per hour okay now another very very important concept okay this is the concept which all you should know and we will be solving questions from it last year also tcs asked the question from this topic only which is crossing the platforms poles this kind of question so what is the time taken to cross the pole for a train it is the length of the train length of the train divided by the speed okay this will be the time to take uh, to cross a pole or a man for platform it will be the length of train length of train plus the platform length okay and divided by speed so if a train is crossing the platform it will be platform length plus the train length divided by speed and if we are crossing another train it will be sum of lengths plus relative speed okay this will be the formula 
so now we will solve the questions from uh, this topic because it's a very important topic and we should definitely solve some questions from this okay so let's talk about this topic and this questions so next we have circular uh, tricks which we will not talk about i will uh, discuss about this but this is the question a train which is 150 meter long okay so this is the length of the train okay this is the train length at 54 km per hour so this is the speed 54 km per hour it's the speed crossing a 200 meter platform so platform length is 200 meter okay so we actually get to know in uh, in how much time the train can can cross the platform okay so now first of all if you can see here the length of the train is 150 meter okay and the speed is 54 kilometer per hour first of all it is not matching because it is kilometer per hour and the train length is in meter so what we will do is we will basically convert this 54 kilometer per hour into meter per second so 54 kilometer per hour to meter per second how we will do it we just discuss the formula in the starting multiply by 5 by 18 so if we will solve this it will be uh, 15 meter per second okay so 15 meter per second is the train speed okay so this we already know now that the speed of the train is 15 meter per second okay now we want to know the time to cross the platform okay so we already discussed the formula first there will be the length of the train plus the length of the platform so the length of the train is 150 meter plus the length of the platform is 200 meter plus the speed is 15 meter per second so this will be there it's it will be 350 divided by 15 which will be 23.3 seconds so this will be the time taken to cross the platform okay now circular tracks this please pause the video and please read this because it's not much important so you will be uh, reading about this okay so pause the video and read about this In special cases also please stop the video and read about this okay now talking about the examples so the first example says a car travels first 200 km at 50 km per hour next 180 km at 60 km per hour last 220 km at 55 km per hour find the average speed so first 200 km at 50 km per hour okay so 200 km at 50 km per hour that means the time taken is 4 hours okay 180 km at 60 km per hour that means the time taken is 3 hours and 220 at 55 km that means 4 hours total distance travel 200 180 and 220 which will be 600 km and total time taken 434 which is 11 so 600 divided by 11 so the average speed is 54.5 km per hour next question two trains 300 km apart start at the same time towards each other at 70 km per hour and 80 km per hour when and where do they meet okay so they are moving in each other direction like this so we will what we will do in relative speed 70 plus 80 which will be 150 okay total distance 300 km so 300 divided by 150 so time to collide 2 hours at 2 hours they will meet each other and how much the first train traveled 70 multiplied by 2 hours because 70 km per hour is, is the speed so 140 km the first train will travel okay next question we have from boat and stream a boat takes 6 hours downstream and 8 hours upstream for same distance if speed of stream is 2 km per hour find boat speed okay so recently we, we discussed if it is upstream what we will be doing minus if it is downstream what we will be doing plus okay so we discussed so suppose the boat speed we need to find is b okay and if the stream uh, if the speed of the stream is two, two kilometer okay so if the uh, stream uh, speed is two kilometer so for upstream what we will be doing minus and for downstream what we will be doing plus so from the boat speed we will be doing minus 2 for upstream and plus 2 for downstream okay uh, uh, and uh, if we are doing so the both should be equal okay so if the both should be equal so the distance because if if if, we, if you will look closely they will travel the same distance okay because it's taking 6 hours 
downstream and eight hours upstream okay so the distance but they are traveling is equal so six hours they are taking for downstream that means six multiply by b plus two equals to eight multiply by b minus two okay we will solve it so after solving it will come like uh, 6b plus 12 equals to 8b minus 16 so we will move it here so it will be 2b equals to 28 and b equals to 14 kilometer per hour so the value of b will be 14 kilometer per hour two person a and b start from two point p and q towards each other simultaneously after meeting a takes four hours to reach q b takes nine hours to reach p if a speed is 36 kilometer what is b speed see there is one simple formula if the speed is given if the time uh, taken to reach at the certain point is given and if the distance is same so you can use this formula which is speed of a divided by speed of b equals to time taken by b divided by time taken of a in the square root okay you can just put the values in this formula so uh, speed of a is 36 divided by speed of b is equals to square root time taken by b is 9 divided by 4 we will square and solve it so if you will solve it is 3 by 2 so 36 speed of b equals to 3 by 2 uh, okay and we will solve it so it will be 36 multiplied by 2 by 3 if you will solve it it is 24 kilometer per okay next question a 200 meter long train crosses a platform in 30 seconds and a pole in 10 seconds find the length of the platform and the speed of the train very easy and very important question because each and every year tcs is asking this kind of questions okay so the length of the train is 200 meters correct and it is crossing the pole in 10 seconds so we discussed about this right so time what will be the time of crossing is 10 kilometer correct and the formula was the length of the train okay divided by speed now we don't know about the speed so it speed will come here time will come here so speed is equals to length divided by time which is 200 divided by 10 so it should be 20 meter per second so 20 meter per second is the train speed we already know this okay now they are asking find the length of the platform okay so 30 seconds it is crossing the platform okay if it is moving 20 meter per second so in 30 seconds how much it will distance uh, it will travel it will travel 20 multiplied by 30 because per second it is traveling 20 meters so 600 okay because in 30 seconds it crossed the platform that means in 30 seconds it traveled 600 meters okay and the train length is 200 meters so we will subtract the train length from this what is the remaining which is 400 so 400 will be platform length so answer will be 400 okay so that's how we will solve it now circular track overtaking please read the question on this your own okay just pause the screen and you can read variable speed journey a car covers first one third distance at 30 km per hour. So suppose the car is covering D distance at 30 km per hour. Next one third at 40 km per hour. So next again D at 40 km per hour. Last one third at 60 km per hour. That means next D also at 60 km per hour. Find the average speed. Okay. So total distance it traveled is D plus D plus D, which is 3D. Okay. And how much, uh, uh, if you can say, time the car has taken it should be d divided by 30 d divided by 40 d divided by 60 correct so time it already traveled 3d distance and the time it taken is uh, d divided by 30 uh, d divided by 40 and d divided by 60 correct so we can solve it and we can put the values okay so the total time taken is d by 30 d by 40 d by 60 which will be 3d divided by 40 okay and the average speed will be distance distance is 3d divided by 3d by 40 it will be cancelled so 40 kilometer per hour will be our answer okay 
also if you want to practice the question and also if you want to practice the question with timer you can purchase the mock test the link will be in the description all the uh, uh, questions are given with the timer also you will be getting the join, uh, join whatsapp group link in which you will be getting the instructions thank you so much for watching